Riding the high from a week that saw a perfect game and the Yankees winning their third straight series, New York with a weekend series in St. Louis against a team with one of the worst records in the National League. Last night's game was rained out, so they're playing two today. And a rough day at the office for Luis Severino, scoreless in the third until the reigning NL MVP does this. Paul Goldschmidt with two on the three run home run. That's his 15th of the year. And all of a sudden it's three nothing St. Louis and they were just getting started. Next inning, Nolan Gorman crushes this one off of Seve. That's a two run shot to give the Cardinals a seven nothing lead. Severino tagged for all seven of those runs in just four innings. They lead it 11 to one in the seventh. Yanks and Cardinals currently in a rain delay. No one is more happy about the calendar turning to July than the Mets. It was just a brutal June, winning just seven out of 26 games and slipping to 18 and a half games back in the division. Mets hoping to get July started on the right foot, hosting the Giants. Justin Verlander on the mound today, but it was the Mets bats providing the fireworks. Scoreless in the third, Francisco Alvarez drives one to right. That's gone, his 13th of the year. The rookie puts the Mets on the board, it's 1-0. A few batters later, Brandon Nimmo smokes one into the upper deck. He adds to the Mets lead. It's now 2 nothing, And not wanting to be left out, Francisco Lindor gets in on the home run parade. The very next batter, and he goes deep. Mets bats come alive in the third. They lead the Giants 4-1. This one went final moments ago. And more baseball. Yes, it's obviously been established that Shohei Otani simply amazing. He continued his impressive season last night against the Diamondbacks. The Angels star hit his 30th home run of the season and an understatement to call this one a no doubter. How about 493 feet? That's the longest home run in the majors this season. Just wow. NHL free agency is underway and a busy day for the locals. The Rangers have landed a three time Stanley Cup champion. Jonathan Quick has agreed to a one year deal with the Blue Shirts as a backup goalie. The Islanders also locking down their goaltenders, signing Ilya Sorokin to an eight year contract extension worth $66 million. That deal goes into effect after next season. Sorokin set career highs and wins and starts this past season. The Isles have also signed goalie Semyon Varlamov to a four year contract. He appeared in 23 games for the Islanders last year. A flurry of moves in the NBA today. The Knicks are trading Obi Toppin to the Pacers for two second round picks. The 25 year old was selected eighth overall by the Knicks in the 2020 draft, but his playing time was limited. He averaged just under 15 minutes a game with New York. The Knicks, by the way, just signed his little brother last week. Might make for an awkward conversation around the dinner table. And after weeks of speculation, Blazer star Damian Lillard officially requesting a trade from the team. He reportedly wants to go to the Heat, but the Clippers and Sixers are also expected to be in the mix. Lillard has been with the Blazers for 11 seasons, making seven all-star teams. He led Portland to the Western Conference Finals in 2019. And finally, as the calendar turns to July 1st, that means a big payday for one former Met. Happy Bobby Bonilla Day. If you haven't heard, every year on the first day of July, the former Met gets a paycheck of just about $1.2 million. This is part of a deferred deal. Bonilla was set to make nearly $6 million in 2000 when he was released, but instead, every July 1st, he gets the $1.2 million payday, and this will continue until 2035. And with how much the Mets are struggling right now, they might use Bobby Bonilla in their lineup. That's the news for now. Thanks for joining us.